Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 51. And uh, we're into winter. It's December. It's snowing. The snowing hasn't settled yet. But I have to nip out quickly and uh, just before the snow covers the crops weed the bottom field the bottom left hand field I've got some weeds in there so we'll just get the sprayer out and we'll go and sort those out quickly and then we've got a well we're getting into those slow months now but I thought what I'll do is later on in this episode is I'll just take you through our our um, feeding and looking after the cows. We haven't really looked at that for quite a while. So I thought we'd, be, we'd just go through that. We do have a new feeding system. So it'll be interesting just to show you what we're doing there. Well, this shouldn't take too long because the wingspan of this uh, John Deere spray is fantastic and it moves. It goes at a reasonable pace. The biggest problem is that it's so murky whereas in normal good sunlight when I weed I can see exactly where I've been. But this is a little bit difficult with all these white flecks of snow or flakes, not flecks, flakes of snow. Just put it on a bit of a speed up. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty manic, doesn't it? Especially with the <laughs> with the snow coming down. But yeah, I mean you've seen it plenty of times, but I just wanted to get this sorted out quickly. Just a little, little bit still to do. I think that's just about it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And we'll head up back up to the farm and go and park it off. Right, what I want to do as well, part of looking after the cars is. Um, we need to clear out the slurry pit so we'll get somebody to come in and clear it out for us it does cost us a little bit of money but we also we get quite a bit of money in for it well we've got so much of it we've got 315,000 liters of it so we'll sell that they charge us uh, a fee of to collect it but that was a reasonable little bit of income and that's a slurry sorted out of course the uh, um, the manure we um, we we utilize in our greenhouse so we don't really sell that yeah so we've got we've got plenty of stock plenty of hay plenty of straw so you've been straw that's pretty good it'll work out yeah so um yeah, our winter feed is looking good just driving past and i saw this so we've planted the outside of this field but somehow we've managed to <laughs> miss the inside of the field so we'll have to sort that out it's not too much of a problem we'll plant it in uh, in march it'll be uh Oh, th there'll be two different um, harvesting uh, times, but uh, we, we won't we won't let it go to waste. So I think this will come out uh, be harvested in a month, maybe two months before. So let's just head on down to the the male cows that are busy growing in the open field. Go make sure that they've got some water. Got to keep on looking after them as well because uh, some of the older ones in this top in this top pen, getting to about 16 months old, 
So in about two months time we'll have to um, start feeding them up, getting them into sale condition. Not quite sure what we'll get for the get for them, but um, we should get a reasonable amount of money for them. Considering we haven't really they haven't really cost us much. Um, we're using our own water from our pond, so it's no no real problem. So yes, yeah, so they're 16 months old. From 18 months old, I want to start putting. Um, we'll put some hay into that uh, top pen, and that'll get them up to full health. And as soon as they're in full f full health, it's probably be about 22 months, 23 months. We'll sell them. At the moment, they only worth 330 euros uh, dollars should I say yeah I'm not quite sure whether they reach the same the same value that um, the beef cattle do most probably not but we'll see how it goes We'll just nip around and we can feed the babies as well. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to alternate between the two pens so that we're not having to feed feed hay into both pens at the same time. So hopefully by the time we've fed up the top pen, the bottom pen will be ready to be fed up or to be uh, fattened up, should we say. They are looking fairly healthy. All the testosterone raging around this little area of the farm. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so that's it done. They've got their water. Still have plenty of grass. We're going to have to dig for it in the snow in the next couple of months, but uh, they'll be okay. And then we'll uh, feed them up. Right, let's have a look and see. So we swapped out our, well, we sold our old TMR mixer, bought this new one. Um, it's only 8,000 litres more, 20, uh, 30,000 instead of uh, 22,000. But now that we have um, a silo with hay and straw in it, we can um, just do a direct mix so we won't have to uh, spend the time loading up bales into the mixer so we'll put about about 10,000 liters of silage into the feeder it won't be exact amounts but you know it would be right roughly 10,000 odd then we'll go and put from our top silo here we'll put a put hay in up to about 22,000 that should give us about eight eight and a half thousand liters of straw and we should then still be within the TMR mixes or the TMR ratios let's put it that way we're going to find out. I have done it before, so it should work out. Let's hold thumbs. Yeah, so we're just under 22,000 there. That's good enough. Let's switch over to the, um, to the straw. And we just top it up until it's full. Yep, that's definitely TMR. And then we don't have too far to go to um, to deliver it. The the delivery of the food is pretty slow on the Rhino. But I'm not too worried about that because um, we'll only have to do about uh, three or four loads in a day. We'll do th three or four. Yeah, 
just depending on how much is left over. We do still have our, our safety net of, I think it's 140 odd thousand litres of grass that we have in there just in case. We can see that we need to put some straw in as well. The uh, shed is looking a little bit bare. As I said, it is pretty slow, this, uh, the delivery of the food. Got some calves in there, I think those are female calves. So we actually don't have a huge huge um, herd of milking cattle at the moment they were they are growing slowly we seem to be getting a lot of males born right that's load number one We'll do three or four, just speed it up a little bit. There we go, another load. That's load two, isn't it? So it works pretty well, it's a nice little circular route. I do love my circular routes. <laughs> it's all about not having to retrace steps. I used to drive people mad when I was working in a... Don't... Well, try, try your best not to retrace your steps. To walk back and forth. Get a circular motion of action going. Right, let's have a look and see how much we got in there. We've got 223,000 litres of turtle mix ration. Should be just about okay. Well, it will be okay. You saw there that we did have our, um, our contingency plan in, in the grass. Is it grass or hay? Hay, I think. Hay. Right, so we'll get some straw bales out and then we'll just uh, move them into the... into the... Um, cow shed make them comfortable for the winter or we'll make sure that they are comfortable for the winter should I say we won't need all of these but experience has told me that being so close to the to the trigger point of of load of uh, putting bells into the into the shed that sometimes they just spill over into there. We'll see how we go. I don't think we'll need all of them. In any event, it is so, as I've just said, it's so close to the to the trigger point for loading the shed that uh, it'll just be quick to push back anything that that is not required. One thing that is going to be required pretty soon is that snow blower. It's probably in the next episode. I'm not going to repay the any loans this episode. We will try and do it in the next episode. Um, there's a couple of little things that I need to check up on. 
I think we may need to buy in some canola to um, to keep the oil production going. I've got a feeling we're going to run out of um, oil now that we have the potatoes up and running as well. We do have quite a few oil producing fields coming up um, in the new in the new season but I think we're going to have to we're going to have to bridge the um, the time bridge the time is that the right thing we're going to have to have to bring in some sort of bridging bridging crop to keep our oil plant going we've got to keep that going we've got to keep the mayonnaise going that's that's the main thing uh, and the and the um, French fries and potato chips because or the potato crisps because they uh, they all bring in really good money so yeah it's, uh, it'll be worth our while to to buy in stock if need be I think I think we will have to but we'll we'll investigate that in the next episode I'm sure while I was waffling on there about that lot you saw, saw that I did push two of the three <laughs> first pails that I tried to put in push two of them back into the into the store it's just the way it goes Mighty little beast, picking up three of those at a time. <laughs> you can see the cows are already looking happier. As the straw starts to, as we start to spread the straw out for them to rest on. Is it going to fill up this time? I think the, I think we might have to put another load of three in. It's getting close to full. Well, I'm presuming it is. It's just it's the, pretty much the whole floor is now covered in. Uh, Try not to push any in here. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know why I struggle when it's it, it, with it. Um, with a stack that is right on the, it's pretty much right on the line of the um, of the trigger point for taking the bales in but for some reason I just can't seem to actually get the bales at the bottom they just the forks just don't seem to go in for some reason I'm pretty sure it's something I'm doing wrong Let's see if this takes us it's looking full in there now. Yep, 
yeah it's not taking any we'll leave those there for now might have to take them out before we have to feed again just depends on how quickly the the straw is required just push those back in nice and easy all done that's the cows fed Now, it's a question of getting all everything shut up nice and tight for the rest of December. We'll go and enjoy our festive season. First of all, we just make sure all the vehicles are nice and clean. Let's get the um, sprayers out. pressure hoses the pressure sprayers get them all cleaned up we don't want to store them through the winter dirty we won't show you all of them we'll just clean a couple of them and then do the rest off camera well I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode we clean a couple more via a couple more implements I do hope you've enjoyed this this episode pretty short and sweet we will um, most probably do December at least uh, January and February as one episode just depending on what happens but we'll see how that goes. In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. It does help me out. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!